Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a hydrology problem and in particular we're going to be talking about a runoff analysis. Uh, so here's what the question says. You are evaluating a watershed. The watershed in question consists of a clay with high swelling potential. The current land use is undeveloped contoured pasture in fair condition. Then we see our CN values given to us there. Uh, which of the following most accurately represents the potential basin retention after runoff begins? So the first step to this is to find a formula that we can use to our advantage and we can find those formulas in the PE manual on pages 378 and this stuff's going to go through 382. Okay, so that, that's where we can find some good information for the FE manual you're going to find some stuff on page 290. So this is going to have the formula that we, ne that we need. Uh, but notice something. In the FE, they do not give you a CN value. So um, it will be given to you on the FE exams for those who are taking the FE. That CN value will be given to you. Uh, and in this case, it was given to us. But if you're taking the PE, there, there's a possible chance that they're not going to include it in that question. You will have to go search for it. Uh, and so I would recommend digging through, maybe practicing looking for it, uh, looking for the CN value. And so you can find that table in those set of pages there that I've provided for you. So getting started, uh, whenever you find your formula, it should look like this. S equals 1000 over the CN value minus 10. And so notice that S is your basin retention. So that's what we need to solve for. We're given a CN value, plug and chug. Uh, that's what we got to do here. So S equals 1,000 over 83 minus 10. So really, if you're taking the PE, the main thing, the main point in this question is to see if you know how to look up the CN value. So that's the key to this problem. If you're taking the FE, find the formula, right? Whenever you solve for S, S is going to end up being 2.05 inches and so that is going to be B. So very simple problem it's just can you find the formula and if you're taking the PE do you understand the chart that you're looking at that's going to be the key to success on this question so I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time. 